Why, hello everybody! Today I'm going to do my throwback Thursday, and that bird's going to try to outsing me. It's a toey. <laughs> I get louder, he gets louder. We can both get really loud. Um, <laughs> today I'm going to go back in time from middle of March when I cloned some brownberry tomatoes, and I'm going to talk about that. But before we go there, I do want to show you this one. This one is a clone. You may or may not remember that I had a bunch of tomatoes growing all last year here for two years. I had these like cherry tomato growings and the cherry tomatoes were growing all over the place. There were cucumbers growing in between them and everything. Well, I broke and cut a piece off like I showed you with the brown berry and I put it here and this is doing beautiful now as we're getting in the spring. Look at this. Look at this, it's got the tomatoes. This is a great tomato plant. So I probably will end up doing some more cuttings off of that later and maybe prep that area to put it back because it grew everywhere and there were just thousands of tomatoes on that. So that cutting did really good. When I removed a portion of that plant that was on the other side, I just simply put it in a pot here and I just stuck it in and it took off right in the pot. And look how just beautiful and healthy it is now. Now that we're starting to get into spring, it's doing pretty good. And the main thing was, it was a healthy cutting to start with. The brown berries, let's go walk over there. The brown berries were not. As you saw, we had some freezing weather come through here and there is a brown berry still growing back there if I wanted to take some cuttings, but I'm gonna trim that one down. There was two brown berries on the property I had planted and that one is doing okay and I'm gonna trim that one down and see where it goes. But the one that froze, that was in the open and I tried to do cuttings, well, it was pretty much a failure. And that was because the plant was already dying, the entire plant was going. It, the plant froze. Technically, the plant froze and it couldn't make the comeback. It didn't have enough in it to stimulate it to grow. And it was growing in here. And this is just so open that there was no protection. And when I came out that day and I thought I better get cuttings off of it, the branches were like brown. I don't know if you remember that, but you can look back and see it in the video and you'll see it was a brownish color. It had been basically, it was like putting it in the freezer and then taking out and trying to bring it back to life. So to be honest, that was a failure. It was worth a try. I, here is what's left. There's one. Whether this little cutting will make it or not, I don't know, but it's still green. And this one is trying to make it, but the rest did not. Now, did I baby it? Did I take it in? Did I talk to it? No. Maybe if I would have babied it a little bit more, I kind of just sat it out here. But the other ones that kind of just dwindled away and I just throw them in. They turn in the compost and they'll disappear. I, I mean, this one might surprise me, but if you remember, they were brown to start with. So when you want to do cuttings off of a plant, the main thing is really, truthfully, you want to get it when it's in its prime and then it will have more in it to set off roots for it because it, it's in its prime. It wants to continue to grow. This basically was pretty much a goner, but you know, it was worth a try. It's no big loss. Like I said, I have one more on the other side of the property, but you know, we'll see what happens with this one. I'll leave it right now. It's not important. I have other tomato plants, but I wanted to share that with you that if you are seriously looking for cuttings and you want to clone something you're growing, do it when it's in its prime, you know, when it's doing its best. And as winter is approaching, or I should say fall and your weather's cooling down and there is a tomato plant you're growing that you like, like that's a, well, that's actually a midnight snack back there. But if it's something, I think it is. <laughs> uh, it, if it's something you really want to grow, take it when the plant looks beautiful. Bring it in the house, put it in a pot, put it by a window, maybe under grow lights, and keep it all year going, you know, I should say all winter, and then in the spring you can put it out. And that should be fine. I've known plenty of people that do that, but you don't want to bring something in that's pretty much gone. There's the last of the brown berry back there. See the other one? I've got the netting 
protecting them. But that one just kind of, it just stood for a long time and fell over. That one still has some green growth to it. But it's probably not even worth it. You know, if it grows, it grows. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. I've got that one growing that I planted from seed. We can take a look since we're here. And I get the close pins off. Eventually, this will be coming off anyways. This is just to protect some of the seedlings as they're starting to grow. But let's see if I can get in here. Let's see that you can, let me see if I can show the cup. There's my paper cup. See the paper cup in there? I don't know, can you see it? Let's see if I can get the camera in there. See the paper cup? Just planted cup and all. Look how beautiful it is. This way, when I watered it in the beginning, it was protected. So any cutter worms or anything that goes along, you know, it protected it. But see, the cup is falling apart. That's just going to turn in the compost. It's going to disappear. So no big deal. And then I've got a little one I put there. That's another midnight snack. So that's doing okay. I just cup and all, just put it in there. But as far as the brown berries, no, they were too far gone. But for me, it was worth trying. It was just a shame to come out there and see it had frozen with the cold weather, and there was just no coming back. I mean, it may not be a total loss. Do I want to take this in and talk to it or something? No, I don't think so. We'll leave it here, we'll see what happens, and kind of wanted to do an update on it. I think, I think it's important to do updates so we see what's going on. Look at my stevia. Okay, we're not doing a stevia one. I just, I'm amazed at the stevia. They're just taking off like mad. Um, hopefully do the ginger one because this is all going to be my new ginger bed. Oh, don't want to talk about my ginger bed because we're not doing that today. But today I just wanted to do a throwback on the tomatoes. So I hope that gave you an idea that if you're going to do cuttings, do the cuttings when the tomato plant or your plant is in its prime. And of course, if something happens to a plant and you want to save it and something's going on, there's no loss on taking a cutting if it's in bad shape. It's either going to make it or not make it. All you can do is try. And like I said, maybe this one will. It might surprise us and might just take off. So here, and just for instance, let me turn around here. This plant is from last year. I mean, technically I should pull it out and compost it. And I think you might have saw it two months ago. It was almost all dead. Look at it. It's got flowers. It's just taken off and... It's going to have tomatoes soon everywhere. It needs a little bit of grooming. That's about it. But it is just taken off. It's got this long stem. So for now, I will go ahead and leave that one. That is not, I don't know what it is. I don't think it's a brown berry. It might be a volunteer that came up. Some of your volunteer plants are your best ones. That means they really like it and they come back. So that's it. Just wanted to do an update on the brown berries. That one's still hanging in there. That one's, uh, it's still green, but I don't think it's gonna make it. And like I said, it's, I'm not gonna knock myself out on it because I've got a lot of midnight snacks and I've got some other plants I wanna work on. But like I said, it was worth a try. So again, take your cuttings when they're in their prime and clone them at that time. So have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye everybody.